Hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to the third session of machine learning in cybersecurity. In this session, I'm going to talk about graph theory and its application in machine learning. So just general overview, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, graph theory. What is it? Some important graph types that uh, we use in cybersecurity often. Uh, then I'm touching about graph in cybersecurity, what's the application of graph in cybersecurity in general. And then lastly, I will talk about graph and machine learning. So what's a graph? Graph is a very simple and quite old mathematical concept. It is a data structure consistent of a set of vertices or nodes and set of edges or relationships. <clears throat> And it shows relationships between the each, uh, like it shows relationships between each of those nodes. Um, graphs uh, can have labels on either the edge or their nodes. Labels can also be considered as weight. Labels on the edge can consider as a weight for a relationship between nodes. Uh, labels don't have to be numerical, as you see in this, uh, sorry, as you see here, it could be um, a string, it could be numerical, it can have any shapes, also it could be repeated, like labels don't have to be unique, especially if you use them as a weight, it shouldn't be like, there's no reason them to be unique. Also, graphs can have uh, features or attributes. Attribute. Um, just remember, be careful not mix up features with the labels. An easy way to uh, to remember what's the difference between label and features could be like let's imagine each node is a person. Label of that node is the name of the person, and uh, features are person's character characteristics. So. There are three different, like this is how you distinguish between, you can distinguish between labels and features. Graphs are everywhere. From internet, you can um, create a graph of all the connectivity through internet, uh, to cybersecurity fraud. You can find it in citation, like relation between citation, in healthcare system. You can literally represent everything like the, anything that is somehow connected with the network, social networks, all of them can be connected through graphs. A special graphs, I'm going to talk a little bit about the special graphs. Uh, some special graphs, like one of them is directed graph. Directed graph means like there is a direction relation, directed relation between nodes. So, and a and good example of it is like, Facebook or Twitter, any social network. So you can see in the notes, we have uh, names of the people, Billy, Harry, Ruth. And if Billy follows Harry, you see there is a one way connections from Billy to Harry. And if Harry follows back Billy, we would have another set of like another uh, edge between these two nodes. And the same between Ruth and Harry, you can see both Ruth and Harry follow each other, but between Harry and Ruth, you can see only one connection, which is uh, Ruth following uh, Harry, Billy, and Billy doesn't follow Harry, uh, Ruth. So practically, um, if there's a um, there's a directed graph and there's undirected graph, um, in some of the cases, like sending money using credit card. Usually these cases, it's directed graph. That's, that's why it's important for us to use, to know what direct, what's the difference between directed graph and undirected graphs. Another type of graphs, it's uh, often used at cybersecurity is bipartite graph or bi graphs. So it's a graph that you can divide the vertices to two uh, disjoint, uh, section and they are independent of each other. So if you look at these examples in the this slide, you can divide easily uh, nodes in two different sections and each node connected to other nodes in the other section. 
Uh, subgraphs are not necessarily special graphs, but there are lots of usage of subgraphs generally in graph analysis. So subgraph means there is a subset of nodes and edges between them in each graph. What are subgraphs useful for is um, if you want to find the largest dense subgraph, like largest community in your graph, or if you want to find the ego network. Ego network is a kind of sub, uh, it's a subgraph that shows a node and its neighbors and its connection between neighbors. Uh, remember, for example, here, uh, the node I colored, the red node on the top left part of the uh, put a lot of top left of the slide. It's called ego, and then there are the red, uh, the rest of them, are, the rest of the red nodes are considered its ego network. Uh, remember, for each node, we, we can define uh, different ego networks. And ego networks will be interconnected with each with each other. And then another like ego networks are really useful to in social analysis and network analysis um, of uh, in social analysis and network analysis areas. Graph queries uh, is also like it's very um, application of a subgraph which uh, you define type of subgraph and use it for finding the similar behavior or similar uh, connection through the graph. Another famous, like I think one of the most famous graphs are trees. Everyone knows how tree works. I just briefly mentioned them because they're famous special graphs. And also there's another one like, again, I wouldn't say it's subset of like some sort of a special graphs, but like weighted graphs are really important. Weighted graphs means like you can weight connection between each of the nodes. And um, especially in machine learning, these weights can act very important, very importantly in your models to see like how they are how the connection are strongly connected or not. So one concept we have to know about graphs, it's degree. So the degree of vertex, vertex or nodes is a number of the edge that have uh, that node as an endpoint. Loop edge gives, a, give, loops edges give a nodes as a degree of two. In many graphs, like there are some sort of uh, theorem about the graph. Um, like in many graphs, some of the degrees of all nodes equal twice the number of edge, which makes sense that because for each uh, connection, for each edge, you have to have two <clears throat> two nodes that 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 edge connect to each other. So it would be two degrees that if you add together, add them together. Total degree of a graph is even again like because for each edge there are two ends. And uh, for directed graph, you can define the out degree and in degree, which if you if you go back briefly back to the to this one, it means the not out degree means the number of uh, edges that goes out of each node. So practically, Harry has two out degree because there are two. Um, edge goes out of Harry's node, and there are two incoming degree, which is like uh, two degree, two edges coming towards Harry. Uh, there are other concepts that are graphs is good to know. It's box, path, and cycle. A walk, of, uh, a walk in a graph means like you start from uh, a node and go through different nodes through the edges. A path is defined as a void that does not contain a repeated edge. And a simple path is uh, a void that's not, that not only, uh, is a void that not only have a, not have a repeated edge, it wouldn't have a repeated vorte uh, vertex as well. A closed void is a void that comes back to the same node. 
a shortest path is um, the path between two nodes that have shortest length, the least number of edge. That's a very useful concept in the graph to know actually, and it's uh, it uses like in so many graph models, you can use shortest path as a, one of your um, features. A cycle is a closed walk that does not contain a replaced page. And a simple circuit is a cycle that not have a repeated node, except for the first one and last one, because like it should be a cycle, it should be closed. Um, so why graph is useful? So graph generally represent a, a description of a modeling complex topology. Uh, it shows in, interdependent of the instances. It shows long range relationship, describe a set of entities and pairwise interactions between uh, nodes and um, edges. Um, it has ability to capture almost any complex topology um, that it will be rust in uh, other databases, uh, data sources. Also, it's a good point is that it's very hard to fake a uh, uh, graph or it's very immune to adversarial attacks. 